The Idol, a new series created by Euphoria creator Sam Levinson, has received the worst Rotten Tomatoes score of his career following its controversial premiere at the Cannes Film Festival and now it is also the lowest rated HBO series of all time on the review aggregator. The Idol follows Lily Rose Depp's Jocelyn, a pop star who becomes entangled with Abel, The Weeknd, Tess Faye's Tedros, a cult leader. The Idol already amassed controversy before its premiere due to reported issues during its development. Now, The Idol currently holds a 17% score from critics on Rotten Tomatoes, the lowest of Levinson's career. Previously, Levinson's lowest scored project was 2022's Deep Water, which holds a 36%. The summary says, every bit as florid and sleazy as the industry it seeks to satirize, the idol places itself on a pedestal with unbridled style but wilts under the spotlight. With the 12 reviews published so far, critics seem to dislike the idol for the amount of nudity and sexual content Depp participates in, coupled with a tasteless presentation. These 12 reviews also put it as the lowest scored HBO show on Rotten Tomatoes. Why the Idol is so controversial, Lily Rose Depp as Jocelyn and The Weeknd as Tedros in The Idol following its premiere at Cannes Film Festival, The Idol received scandalous reactions, with one critic calling the series, a Pornhub homepage odyssey. While Levinson is best known for Euphoria, which has its fair share of sexual content, it appears the presentation of The Idol's adult scenes is more divisive. Reviews point to the idol's sexual content as being more for shock value than to bolster the story of Depp's Jocelyn. However, the idol's Rotten Tomatoes score was foreseeable following the news surrounding the series. The idol was dubbed a chaotic mess in reports from March, which included claims of budgetary issues, late scripts, and a shift of focus away from Jocelyn's perspective. The Weeknd, Depp, and HBO have tried to eliminate notions of the show's behind-the-scenes troubles, including addressing the exit of director Amy Samitz and her replacement by Levinson. Despite the idol's troubled production being dispelled by multiple sources, it seems original reports of the series feeling like twisted torture porn are reflected by its negative reviews. However, Levinson's achievements with Euphoria mean the idol could still be successful, albeit controversial. Viewers will be able to form their own opinions on the idol when it premieres on HBO on June 4th.